your car is not charging and you've replaced the alternator and still don't know what's going on, one thing to check would be to make sure when you turn your key to on that your battery indicator light comes on. If your, if your alternator is not charging and that light does not come on, that little bulb in there is actually very important to making the charging system work. Um, the field current that actually charges or gets the alternator to start charging passes through that little bulb in there. Um, so in this car, I tried three alternators now, and each one seemed like it kept dying after just like a few minutes, and finally realized this bulb wasn't always staying on. So I pulled the gauge cluster out, which is actually pretty simple, just three screws around the outside of it, and then this bezel here, which just has these two screws. Um, and removing the bulb, it's just a simple little half turn on these little sockets back here. And that's the bulb. Um, none of these were actually burned out, and I think all that happened was there was just a little bit of corrosion that built up on the back of, the, of this sort of circuit board here, and was causing it to get a bad connection and not actually turn on. So I just removed them, put them back in. Just a little quarter turn there. Probably hard to see that. Um, and then it, oh, see, oh. now it went back off again. So now, oh, see? Oh, there's something wiggly. Yeah. So I probably have a bad connection on the back of the circuit board here. Okay, so this is with the light not working and the bad core connection in the gauge cluster. Oh, and now it's, oh yeah, you can even hear the alt, the uh, RPMs change. Yep, and then it jumps back up to 13.9. When you wiggle the, the connections on the back of the uh, gauge cluster. Do any lights come on uh, I'm not... on the cluster when that happens? Yeah, I don't really know the motion, so they come on briefly, but I can't get them to stand. Oh, yeah, you can briefly see it pop on for half a second there. You definitely can hear the, the change in the tone oh, of the engine. You, uh... All right, so if I work the connections on the back of the cluster here, Oh, yeah, Five. and then, Low. yeah, Five. for a half second that light comes on when it gets connection again. Low. All right, so basically that's showing that the connections in the gauge cluster are bad. And I'll have to replace that. All right, so, yeah, pulling this gauge cluster back out. Um, it is a little tricky. There is three connectors back here, and you kind of have to just reach around underneath until you find the little tabs, push down on them and pull them out. But you do not have to pull the whole dash or anything to do this. All right, there's all three of those. And then just sort of roll it inside and slide it out. All right, so this is the circuit board section I was talking about. And this bulb here, uh, or no, other side. That here is the battery light. You can actually remove these and then put a backlight behind it and actually see what each indicator is. Uh, so there's definitely some kind of connection issue in this here because when this is pushed on, that will cause the light to turn on and off. Um, so something isn't getting a good connection. Uh, luckily I've got a spare, one of these somewhere. I'll go find that and try swapping it out and hopefully that'll take care of the issue. I didn't have a spare uh, gauge cluster to fix the fact that this 
light will not stay on and keep the alternator charging. So came up with the solution to make it work without. Um, found this little indicator light that I had. Um, so basically all that this circuit does is has power go into the bulb and, um, and back out to, this is a ground that actually leads all the way back from in the car, around over here. So it actually leads back to this ground point on the connector for the alternator here. And that actually runs all the way around and to this pin here on the connector for the back of the gauge cluster. So I cut that wire and ran a new wire out and this will connect into the back, the other pin on that little indicator light. And basically all we're doing here is deleting the little factory light bulb and installing our own that's separate from the gauge cluster. And hopefully this will work and get the alternator charging again. So we'll go ahead and test this out because this should be po uh, battery positive off of this little stud here on the back of the cluster. Now that I've got this little indicator light hooked up on here, I'll go ahead and key on and all right, that light comes on. So that is essentially the little battery light that would normally be lit up over here. And when I start the car, Oh crap, battery's dying. <laughs> All right, well, we'll have to charge the battery up and then try and start the car. All right, now that we've got the battery charged up, let's try this again. So yeah, lights up in, as our new battery indicator. And then goes out, just like the battery light should, to indicate that it's charging. And yep, we now got 14.6 volts. So the alternator is now charging like it should. And that little indicator light is now the battery charging light. All right, so right here is where we're gonna mount up that little, the new little indicator light. And this little, I don't know what that existing hole is supposed to be for. Little messy but hopefully that'll work all right so got the dash and gauge cluster all back together and this is our new uh, battery indicator light so um, yeah basically if your alternator is not charging and the normal battery indicator light in your gauge cluster does not light up either that little bulb is burned out or there's something wrong in the circuitry in there and it's not functioning and this little bulb is actually on a lot of cars, not, this isn't just a Subaru thing, other cars are like this too. Um, it's actually an integral part of the charging system. This here is needed to supply voltage to the alternator for the field current so that the alternator actually can start uh, generating electricity when it's spun up. Um, so this is actually yeah, an integral part of the charging system, having a battery light circuit that functions correctly um, and the reason this battery this little light will go out once the car starts is once the the alternator started to generate 12 volts it'll essentially back feed the 12 voltage to this light so you have 12 volts coming in from both sides which will cancel each other out and shut the light off um, which is why if your alternator dies or uh, stops charging this little light will come on because it'll stop supplying that 12 volt source to the what would normally be the ground <clears throat> canceling out the light um, but yeah that's why if this bulb burns out you'll stuck with an open circuit and won't have any charging occurring anymore um, so yeah kind of a stupid simple little problem uh, Made me think I had three bad alternators when really they were all probably fine. 
But yeah, this is what our new charging circuit looks like. And functions like it should now. <laughs>